Hi, this is Julie Geiger at Prairie Point Junction in Cozad, Nebraska, and we are here today with Rose Maple to talk a little bit about a new book of hers that we are carrying in the shop. We thought it'd be fun to have a little behind the scenes profile with the artist and author. So hi, Rose. Um, tell us a little bit about you and, and what, what's your book? Okay, so the book is called The Complete Barn Quilt Creation and Painting Guide, and we get into everything. We go from cutting the MBO down to priming the edges to painting to putting designs on to putting mariners compasses on we we do a deep dive into everything so so if I've never painted a barn quilt before yeah. this would be a great place to this, start this would be an awesome place to start it tells you everything that you'll need to know in the process and more I have some fun interviews in there as well I have an interview with Donna Sue Groves who was the visionary behind the very first barn quilt and the very first barn quilt uh, trail so that's really neat I have an interview with Susie Perrin who is very well known for her work on barn quilt trails and her books and I've also interviewed uh, Carolyn at the International Quilt Museum in Lincoln too so there's a little bit of behind the scenes that ties it to the quilt so I think it's a all-encompassing book so for people that are listening to this and are thinking barn quilts what in the world are they talking about Tell us, what is a barn quilt? Okay, so first of all, you do not have to have a barn and you do not have to be an artist to have a barn quilt. A barn quilt is an outdoor piece of art that is most often fashioned after a single quilt block. Now, there are a lot of variations on that and some, there are more liberal interpretations and others with that, but that is in essence the uh, definition of a barn quilt. Okay, so it's something you paint and display mm -hmm. outside mm -hmm. anywhere you want. Yes. So tell me a little bit about how you got into barn quilts and, and um, Rose is a local artist here from Cozad um, and tell us a little bit about the significance of barn quilts in Cozad. Yeah, well barn quilts are huge in Cozad. We have so many people come to see our barn quilts. Um, I got started in with the project. We started our business Rustic Milling and Craft in 2016 and I thought, well, there's a barn quilt trail here so I'm going to put my barn quilt on here so people will stop by our store and check us out. Well, it turns out I did one, and then I did two, and then <laughs> and I don't even balling. know how many I've done at this point. But uh, yeah, it, it, it's just such a neat art form, and there are so many interpretations of it. But the Barn Quilts of Dawson County is what got me into the whole thing. And I did one for ourselves, and then other people wanted them. And I do classes now all over the state, so... Great, so, it's really so we can get tips from your book, but then if we want to learn in mm -hmm. person, yeah. um, how would people learn about your classes? Uh, they could go to our website, they could go to our Facebook page, Rustic Milling and Craft, and we also have a Barn Quilt, uh, Barn Quilts by Rustic Milling and Craft page too, that they can go to and find out all of the event information. Or they could just get a hold of me and say, I've got a group of people that want to do a barn quilt and we don't know where to start, so, I'll set up a time and a place. If you have a location, we can come to you. And it's it's been really popular with the quilt guilds, and it's it's just been fantastic. Everybody loves them, even if they're not a a fabric quilter. Right. I know. Well, thanks so much for sharing a little yes. bit of, about your story, Rose. We're happy to have you here today. And we are carrying Rose's book here in the shop at Prairie Point Junction. So you can pick that up here in our Cozad store, or you can order it online at PrairiePointJunction.com. And then if you're wanting more information about what Rose does and some of her classes, make sure you check out her business out well at rusticmillingandcraft.com. So thanks for joining us today, you're Rose. Welcome. Thank you.